Okay, so what's very interesting to, to see is that the concept of social enterprise and social entrepreneurship is coming over in very different parts of the world, in the States, in Europe, in developing countries. It's very important to try to understand what's the meaning of this movement in each different milieu. But anyway, the, um, the main interest is always the same, how to combine social aims with economic aims. And that's, I think, a very challenging question and try to understand the place of this kind of enterprise besides for-profit enterprise and public sector. And what's the value added of this kind of dynamics in this different milieu. And can you give me some examples of, of the different types of enterprises that are arising in the different milieus? Yes, for example, in Europe, all these uh, social enterprise dynamics takes roots in the first sector, in non-profit organization. And you look, uh, if you look at the evolution of first sector organization, you see an evolution towards more entrepreneurial dynamics. I will take an example. For example, it's very, um, very dynamic, the type of organization we call work integration social enterprises. These enterprise are enterprise, they sell products on the market, but the main goal of this enterprise is to create jobs for low qualified people, which are excluded from the traditional labor market. And you see this kind of dynamic in Belgium, France, UK, trying to combine economic activity with a social aim. If you look at the South in developing countries, all this movement towards fair trade is always also a, a way to combine economic aims, selling products on the market, but with a social aim trying to develop better labor condition for uh, these people working in, in fair trade. At least, I think what the common dimension is to take into consideration that economy is more than just the market, just for profit. And always, if you look at the history of these different contexts, you will find this kind of enterprises which uh, combine economic and social goals. That's not new. Maybe the concept of social enterprise and social entrepreneurship is new, but if you look at the history, you can find always different kind of organization which try to develop this uh, mix of uh, economic and social goals. So I think that the first step is to be aware of the diversity of economy, not reduced to the sole market and sole for-profit goals. That's very important. To see that, yes, to make economy, you need the public sector for profit, but also other kind of dynamics. Because to answer all these needs and social needs, you need this, I would say, uh, diversity of economic logics. I mean, it's important to make the links with uh, all the debate about CSR and at the same time to see that's different between the difference between social enterprise because social enterprise, the main goal is not for profit, it's social goals. But it's always it's also important to see this debate about CSR which are for for profit. I think the main goal for this company is still profit, but yes, they must incorporate other type of interest. So, of course, you need some dialogue and partnership. For example, some social enterprises are the result of a partnership between a for-profit organization and non-profit organization. So that's a, a link between CSR and social enterprise. But at the same time, it's very important to understand the difference between this enterprise whose main goal is social and for-profit whose main goal is profit. Um, sometimes these uh, companies have foundation and decide to support uh, social enterprises. So they put part of the profit to sustain the development of social enterprises. Uh, you could see, uh, if I'm thinking, for example, to work integration social enterprises in Europe, uh, we receive some funds from a company. Other type of partnership, um, these work integration social enterprises so employ low qualified people, but after could have some agreement with big company to, uh, to place these people inside for-profit companies. It's a kind of partnership. Also, uh, in all these uh, public procurement markets, where the public bodies uh, develop uh, some kind of market to subcontract uh, some uh, some market, they could put in their contract that the for-profit company needs to have some kind of agreement 
with a work integration social enterprise. So at the same time, it's important to recognize the difference between social enterprise and CSR, and that, but also at the, at the same time, you need uh, to find some partnership because sometimes frontiers are blurred. And so you could find some original partnership between social enterprises and for-profit companies. 